So I've decided on the 370. The headlights are super bad, so I am going to fix those today. So I didn't check to see if I had all the materials, so I had to go to the store and get more tape. First, we're gonna start off masking. Masking around the headlight. That way, when we go to sand it, I don't sand any of like the body of the car. So now that the headlights are all taped, I think I'm going to pull it out into the driveway because my car is clean and I don't want to get dust on it. So I've got some 500 grit sandpaper on here. Um, usually I'd say do this by hand, especially if it's the first time that you've done it. Um, but because I've already done these headlights before, I'm just trying to kind of zoom through it. that I've sanded and you can see that it's all smooth up here and there's no other like like these little marks and then down here you can see the discoloration so I still have to sand this and all the way up here a bit more now that I'm finished sanding with the sander there's still some spots in it that aren't perfect like perfectly sanded so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in and get some of these little edges by hand uh, to make sure that everything's properly sanded and you don't see any of that through the clear coat that i'm about to lay on so now you want to pour some water on it or i have just a little speed shine just something to get it wet and you're just going to spray the crap out of it, clean it off. You can al already tell it's going to be clear. Spray this one, make sure you didn't miss any spots. And it's looking great. Now we're just going to dry them off, dry all the area around it. So they're still foggy now because we still have to clear them. But they're looking really good. So next, I've got the masking paper. I've got some masking for the car and I'm just going to cover the front of the car so no overspray gets on it. Next, I'm just gonna cut out the headlights with a little razor and tape it down. So the only thing that'll be exposed are the headlights. are prepped and we're ready for clear. So what I'm going to use is a little clear coat. Um, right now I'm using Advantage. Just kind of cheap stuff but it does the trick. 
and then this one mixes four to one. So I've got my little cup here. I'm just filling that up to uh, about one and a half. And then this is the hardener for it. So just match that. Give a little mix. And it's pretty hot here today, so I've got a little bit of slow reducer in here. And I'm just gonna pour a little bit in there and it helps just lay it a little bit smoother. Since it's gonna be drying so fast, I don't want it to dry with a lot of uh, ripples. Just grab one of these tops and then put my hand over it to cover it and then I push the bottom make sure there's no air leaks because the worst thing is to put this upside down and then have your clear coat go everywhere so I just uh, attach that here to the gun uh, the gun that I'm using it's a Sada mini jet um, this thing is awesome for all like the small stuff All right, let's get to spraying. So right now we're two coats in which is probably enough, but I'm gonna wait a minute and put one more coat on. This is what we got so far. Whole lot better than what they were. We just wait for this to dry a little bit. I'll let it flash maybe five, 10 minutes. We'll do some cleanup and then unmask. I'm just gonna test, kind of poke the tape around it. And I think that is actually dry enough. We can unmask. 